Hey guys, this is Dirtwig, and today I'm playing Pokemon Pearl. So, this was the very first Pokemon game I ever got, so I decided to. So, if I want to start off the channel, I should just play this game. So, yeah, let's begin. So, I really. I really want to thank you. I really want you guys to like help me on my way because I've tried doing YouTubing before, but I've always failed. So, yeah, I would really like if you guys would like help me on the way, like comment. Even though the comment section is like really broken right now, but you just comment and if if you can, just like subscribe. So yeah, and I'm not really like begging you or anything, but. I also want you guys to enjoy these these my videos. So, like, tell me what I should do better because you guys are the ones who are gonna watch this. And but uh, it's also on my part because I'm doing this for fun. And yeah. So here we gonna choose our name. So I'm gonna call myself as D Twig because I just feel like it's like so I'm like it's like a rapper's name or something. I'm joking. I don't know what would we call it D twig or something. Yeah. So D twig. Yeah. Let's just start. Okay. So yeah. So here we go and now we can write name arrival and I think we're gonna call him uh actually I don't know what to call him. Maybe we can just call him like some random name, random common name like Paul. Yeah. Let's just call him Paul. It's a regular old name for a regular shit person. Alright, so here we are. We're gonna join. We're gonna start off our adventures in the Sinnoh region. And yeah, so, yep, let's sleep into the world of Pokemon. And then, a few seconds. Here we have this message that the red Gyarados has appeared and it's and has fleed from the I think I think it was a couple like rocket yeah probably rocket or something some stuff like that and yeah from brought you by from July TV and stuff and shit and yeah and just take oh yeah I forgot this was platinum so let me change these controls so it's fast and then maybe change it to I don't know. I like red, yeah. All right, so and you don't get like any potions from there. Uh, okay, let's we'll just walk downstairs and then our mom's gonna talk to us. And yeah, so I basically know everything. Well, not everything. I don't really know where most of the items are because I usually just play for the fun, not really like competitive. Because I'm playing on an emulator, so we wouldn't really care unless some gym was like really hard or some stuff. But yeah, so I'm not gonna. It's not gonna be like a walkthrough or anything. So yeah, sorry for those little dots. I am just using the recorder that comes on the simulator, and yeah. So, your rival just walks right into you, and he's a he's like a little bitch. He like finds you for every single thing in the world. Uh, and look, and he's a like, he's a guy who's like making it. He's like making this wait for him and stuff. He's a little jerk. And then here's his mom. So we had to walk, go inside his house, walk into his room. And here he is. He kept, and then, oh. So he had, we'll be, now we can progress. And he's gonna find us again. Just because we had to, we had, because he somehow, like, can run faster. Even if he had a running shoe. He's like, he's like on, no, he's like on coke. Drugs. Oh, he's like, did you take too much coffee, man? I don't know. All right, so this guy thinks that the red Gyarados is in the same lake over here, but we all know it's in the Jota region. But whatever, we're gonna look because we're we don't really know ourselves ourselves. So yeah, we go over here to Lake Clarity, and yeah, let's walk in here, and he's all like, let's find the red Gyarados. And yeah, and here we have Professor Rowan and I think Don. Yeah, and they're like watching the water, and they're they're looking for I think like either like 
Um, I forgot. Oh, there's like three legendary Pokemon. Uh, this game, I forgot. There's like one was yellow, and there's a blue one, and there's a pink one. Oh man, I think one of them starts with an M. I'm not sure, and one of them starts with U. Yuxi? Uh, I don't know. Some stuff like that. Alright, she's all like being a little bee, bee bag. Or not bee bag, but whatever. And he's like, oh my god, move out of the way. I mean, you have a clear path. We're not going to get like a red carpet or something. So yeah. And here, we go up to the suitcase. And our briefcase. And this is where we get attacked by wild star eaters. And then... For some reason, we thought it was smart uh, to open the briefcase to look first. And here we get to actually choose our starter Pokemon. So here we get Turtwig, our mascot, Chimchar, and Piplum. And could you guess? Of course you can. Turtwig it is. This was the first Pokemon I ever used. He was really good. I mean, Earth and Grass has, n I think, n well, oh, well, he might like. I mean, flying is like its only weakness. So yeah, uh, but beginning moves are not that good, so you just use spam tackle. Because withdrawal only makes your defense go up, but yeah. This is just, these are just like um, NPCs or something, I don't know. These are like real people, so it's going to be easy to beat them. Uh, Pixelmon is super hard, especially on servers, though. I mean, especially when you're like in jam. Dude, oh my god. I get like screwed over a rock gym even if I have like a water type or something. It's just that hard. Well, whatever. But we're not playing Pixel Ball right now. So yeah. We just screw up we just destroy the Starly and get 16 XP out of that. And yeah. Alright. So Paul is all like blabbering about his Pokemon Nars and then Dawn just appeared like a Sasquiro. Oh my god. There's a Paul freaking and like did you guys steal the Pokemon? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna tell the professor. She's like a tattletale or some shit. Okay. She just walks away and we're supposed to go. Right? I think. Apologize. Yeah. And Paul is. gonna leave us there. Well, not entirely, but okay. Uh, well, I mean, really? Spend more time? I'm literally just gonna walk right through there, dude. You can't even like, have a battle by the time I get there. Ugh. I don't know. Whatever. So I hear Professor Rowan and like Dawn's waiting for you guys. And then Professor like Rowan uses like telekinesis and looks at her Pokemon and says that, oh my god, you guys are so friendly. Well maybe like not with the oh my god part, but yeah. He basically let us keep the Pokemon but I tell our parents first and stuff. So, yeah, we go home. Oh, not your home, but like in game home. And here's her mom cooking some stuff on. No, she only has like a sink and like a mini oven or something. And then, so your mom's all like, oh, you should go apologize. Or like, apologize to Professor Rowan or something. So, yeah. And then she gives you some running shoes. Finally. But. We can't still match up for like Paul's like running habit. I mean, he takes like oh, he's like coffee. That's a coffee addict or something. I mean, really, I I played this game with cheating. I had run to you before, and then when we were like es escorting or something, he was he was like right behind us, and he was like he wasn't have he didn't have like any running shoes or anything. So really, he's like in coffee addict or something. Right, so we'll just run all the way to Sandin Town, and here we have Dawn, and we're gonna have this huge ass talk with Professor Rowan. I usually hate the beginning of a Pokemon game because it just takes way too long. But all right, so uh, and then here's he he just like runs right into us again. Ah uh, man, he's like a little ah uh, dude. Come on, and he's the guy who's like finding us for no thing in the world. Like everything in the world, I just get pissed off. But yeah, it's just game though. So yeah, he uses Pokemon again and stuff, and he give he gives you Pokemon. And here we have named our Turtwig. And as you know, or probably should know, the name's gonna be Turtwig. So 
And we're happy with that. And so yeah, and I think we get the Pokédex right now or some. And yeah, Dawn's all like, oh, if you like, if we chose Piplum, we would both have a Piplum by now. But that's a total lie. If you chose Piplum, she would probably have um like um Chimchar, yeah, Chimchar. And if you took Chimchar, she would have like a Turtwig. And yeah, so purpose your own asses if you want. To like journey around the world recording data on our Pokedex, and you can never say no. Oh, so sad. But yeah, so I just admit, say so yes, and we get the Pokedex and stuff. And Dawn's like, oh, I got my Pokedex first. I know a lot, but really, I've been playing this game for a really long time because I got the game like 2007 now, 2013. Really? I know more than you do. Sorry, Don. Okay. So, yeah. And she's gonna show us around town after we walk out of this room. Uh, probably should have ran, but okay, whatever. So, she's gonna be your mentor and stuff. Oh, man. Okay. So, this is the Pokey on center because it always has a red root. And then this is the um, a Poke Mart because it has a blue root. Simple as that. Okay. So, our, so yeah, she tells us that we have to go to her mom because we don't have a dad. About that, we're gonna journey off, and yeah, we're gonna have to say, Mom, it's time I have to leave. All right. So, let's run over there. All the way back to our home. It's amazing how I've never ran. I haven't even ran into all Pokemon yet from that first run all the way to Sandy Town, but. That's probably not gonna last long. All right, so run over here, go inside our house, and talk to her mom who's watching TV. Let's watch. Let's see what she's watching. Oh, we're watching the contest, Pokemon contest. Um, it's amazing how she was a Pokemon contest or or contest I don't know. So yeah, and then she says okay and stuff. And yeah, and me get the journal. I really, I don't really like the journal at all because it just stalls you at the beginning of the game. And yeah, she's all like, she's like kidding around and saying, oh, well, I wish I had her gone, but you all know she's too old. And let a kid live his dreams. I don't know. I don't know if he even wanted to be a Pokemon trainer. And then, where is she even looking at? Who is she talking to? Okay, but well, whatever. He says that oh we have to give the parcel to his her son and stuff and yep we have to do it but we we get like fifty percent of what's inside of it so yeah but really I don't really need what's inside of it anyways then you probably all know what is in it and I'll just tell you it's a town map so yeah so we can just go back to Sandgem Town and we're gonna go talk to Don okay. Here's our first um, wild Pokemon we actually like met or something. And it's a Beedoof. Dude, Beedoof is like the best HM slave in the game. Hands down. Oh man, he's like the best. Alright. So we just tackle. Oh man. Tackle. I wish I can like fast forward this, but I don't know how I can like. You guys. For you guys, it'll just seem like I'm playing this, but for me, it'll be like fast forwarding. But see, I'm just going to do it like this. Alright. So, I think two more tackles or one. I don't know. Um, okay, one. Crit. We get crit. That's probably why I beat only one. Alright. So, we get 24 HP out of that. And we still have a level of uh, 1 BS. Alright. Let's walk over here. Oh yeah, let's get a potion from her. God, if I hadn't gone back, I probably would have made clear gas for us. You know what, I'm gonna fast forward, but whatever. Okay, just tackle. And actually, I should do that. It glitches up things. I'll just, just tackle again. And yeah. Alright. 
Mm, okay, so this might be a little bit delayed right now. So I'm gonna stop for on now. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna end this video now. Alright. Okay, so right there, we came to level. I'm gonna end this this whole episode. So hope you guys stick around for the next episode. See you guys. Bye.